When you think about Nepal, you may think about trekking through the breathtaking scenery of the Himalayas, especially Mount Everest, which is the world's highest mountain above sea level, and Annapurna. But there's much more to this country. It is the birthplace of the Lord Buddha. It has an enriching and wide variety of flora and fauna, and together with its delicious cuisine, Nepal is one of the most peaceful countries in the world. Despite its diverse ethnicities, cultures, and religions, it is no wonder tourism is a big part of Thai Nepal. Relations. Tourism is important、uh, in the sense that、uh, we have exchange of tourists between our two countries. Before COVID, from Thailand, we used to welcome more than 50,000、uh, Thai tourists in Nepal. The number of、uh, Nepal tourists、uh, was very high、uh, before COVID. It was、um, estimated around 60,000. Yeah. So we hope that after COVID situation,、uh, this、uh, this trend, this、uh, exchange of visitors will resume. For、um, uh, bird watching paradise, we have uh, uh, around more than 800 species of birds、um, in Nepal. We have、um, seven、uh, world heritage sites、mm. in capital. Nepal can cater different、um, variety of uh, tourism uh, activities. Mm. Uh, from、um, religious and cultural tourism to adventure tourism, Nepal is a multicultural and multi-ethnic society. So we respect each other. Nepal people are peace-loving. Ambassador Ganesh Prasad Dakal has been living in Thailand with his wife and children since mid 2019. Before coming to Thailand, I was very fond of、uh, eating Thai food. Now uh, uh, my another hobby is playing golf. Thai. Uh, golf clubs are very popular. I feel very homely here.、Mm. Uh, whenever I I go any part of Thailand, I feel homely. We are from landlocked country, and we always be, become very happy to see the beach.、Um, and Thailand has very world famous beaches. That is one of the attraction of our people、um, uh, to uh, visit Thailand. There were about 2,500 Nepalis living in Thailand pre-COVID, half of whom were university students. The number has since dwindled to about 1,500. Thais and Nepalis have a lot of similarities, the ambassador said, especially the shared common roots in Buddhism. Even though the majority of Nepalis identify as Hindus. In terms of similarity, there are family value system,、mm. uh, family um, uh, structure. And、uh, respecting each other in the family and others, and、um, uh, cooperative nature, smiling, kindness. The most important thing is the teaching of Gautam Buddha and philosophy of Buddhism are the strong binding threads between the people of our two countries. As you know, Nepal is the birthplace of Gautam Buddha. The Lumbini is the birthplace. So this is the、um, very important place, and that. Connects people of our two countries, and、uh, one good news to all Thai、uh, friends is that Nepal government has built one international airport、mm. near Lumini, just、mm. 20 kilometers far from Lumini. That is named as Gautam Buddha International Airport, and this airport is going to operate very soon. Nepal is not far from Thailand;、mm. it is just three hours flight from here.、Mm. And before COVID, there were Three flights per day between two capitals. Trade and investments are other important aspects in the bilateral relations. There are some、uh, Thai investment in Nepal,、uh, but、um, we expect more investment、mm. because、uh, this、uh, investment in Nepal is not、um, very much in comparison to our flow of Thai investment in, in other country. So we want to minimize our trade deficit, but we want to minimize this through through our export of our product, pasmina item,、uh, woolen carpets, and、um, um, there are some footwear here and tea and coffee. Apart from representing Nepal in Thailand, His Excellency is also accredited in Cambodia, Laos, Singapore, and Vietnam. He has traveled to all those other countries except Vietnam so far for his work, amid limitations on travel brought on by the pandemic. But Mr. Dakal is hopeful things will soon return to normal. So far, it has been managed, but、uh, we believe that this COVID will not remain long. Yeah. So after that, we will、uh, travel to 
uh, the accredited country. Hatay Desikitiranan reporting for Thai PBS World.